Oh boy, there's a lot to unpack from Metacore from is the premise behind it scientifically true? If yes, is it true to a degree that makes it a difference for your size? We also spotted six claims being repeated in a lot of other reviews that are misleading and some weirdness about some of the reviews themselves. Um, shout out to Hani for asking us to review Metacore. Now, sit back and listen intently till the end because this review is jam-packed with things you must know if you're considering Metacore. Hi, Richard and Lucy here, nutritionists at CoachViva.com, the place for analytical thinkers who refuse to hide from the facts or cave to excuses. If that's you, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every week of new science-backed and practical videos to help you lose weight on your terms. Also, heads up, a few spots have opened up for the free one-on-one -on -one consultation for our Badass Body Boss program. So make sure you stay until the end of this video for the announcement on that. Now let's get started. The premise of Medicor is that a higher core body temperature raises metabolism. It is true that your body expends energy to regulate your temperature, and that energy comes from burning calories. We see this in desirable cases, like when you exercise, your body temperature is higher, and thus you're burning more calories. We also see this in undesirable cases, like when your body is trying to fight off an infection, you have get a fever. Therefore, it follows that these pills should not raise your body temperature so much that you develop a fever. Instead, they need to raise it by just enough to keep you in the normal human temperature range. This is also a reason why you don't want to take more pills than prescribed. A normal amount of fluctuation over a day for a person ranges between 0.5 to 1 degree Celsius. Studies show that a 1 degree Celsius increase raises metabolic rate by 10 to 13 percent. Assuming Medicore sticks to this 1 degree Celsius normal variation, if you're consuming 1800 calories per day, that translates to 180 to 234 extra calories per day. However, it's estimated that only 50% of resting metabolism is for regulating temperature, while the other 50% is for other body activities like maintaining your cell structure and so on. So 50% of the calculated 180 to 234 extra calories equals actually 90 to 117 extra calories per day from taking Metacore about one tablespoon of peanut butter. Depending on your eating habits, this may or may not be enough of an edge to lose weight. For example, if you routinely eat 2000 calories while having a maintenance calorie of 1800, you'll see maintenance on Metacore. But if you tend to eat around your maintenance calories for your size, then you may see weight loss. Another thing you can see is the higher your maintenance calories, the more Metacore increases your metabolism. Because 10 to 13% of 2000 calories is way higher than say 10 to 13% of 1500 calories. So this means that the more overweight you are, the more Metacore is helpful to you. And the leaner you get, the less Metacore it will help you. Now, everything I just said assumes that Metacore works the way they say. Does Metacore actually work the way they say? Are there other mechanisms and effects at play? We don't know because there have been no peer-reviewed clinical trials to test this systematically. Now let's talk about the six claims I see being made in many Medicore reviews that are misleading. One claim is obese people have a lower body temperature. Funnily enough, a review that said this linked to this study, which says that there is no conclusive proof that obese people have lower body temperatures. The second misleading claim is if you're overweight and struggling to lose weight, you have slow metabolism. This is repeated in nearly every Metacore review, implying that the majority of overweight folks have a slow metabolism, which of course bolsters their pitch that you need Metacore in order to improve your metabolism. But as you can see in this Mayo Clinic answer, and this Harvard Health article, a slow metabolism is rare unless you have a diagnosed condition like PCOS, hypothyroidism, or other medical conditions that impact metabolism. You can, in fact, verify for yourself if your metabolism is slower than average by following these four steps. Step one, in the morning before you eat or drink anything for the day, measure your body fat percentage using a calculator linked in the description below. Step two, get the average maintenance calories for someone your size using the body fat calculator linked in the description below. Set activity factor to sedentary. Number three, aim for a 15% calorie deficit from the maintenance calories you got in step two for the next seven days. Track this in an app like MyFitnessPal or lose it and track every bite and sip meticulously. You're only doing this for seven days. Step four, after seven days, repeat step one. If you lost any weight or inches and you don't need to lose both, your metabolism is normal. Congratulations. 
The third claim I see in reviews is that Medicor helps with metabolism, blood sugar, joint, brain, and heart health, and has no side effects. We don't actually know if this is true because there have been no clinic trials on Medicor. I am guessing these claims are based off of the ingredients, individual benefits. Two things about this. One, if you look up the degree of the benefit of most of these ingredients in Medicor, you'll find a lot of may help and limited data caveats. And second, how our body processes one ingredient by itself can be very different than how our body processes that ingredient when taken simultaneously with other ingredients. So it's misleading to ignore the cumulative effect altogether. And this brings me to the fourth claim made by reviews that it is FDA approved. Supplements are generally not FDA approved as the FDA states on their site. Medicor claims to be produced in an FDA approved facility, which is not the same as being FDA approved. An analogy is you can use Gordon Ramsay's kitchen to produce delicious food or produce bad tasting food. The kitchen itself is neutral. It's you as the chef who determines the end product. Another claim I see in reviews is other suppressed appetite kickstart ketosis, only Medicor raises core body temperature. There are numerous weight loss supplements that raise your core body temperature, so much so that they have their own category name, thermogenic supplements. The ingredients in these supplements may vary, but the end effect is the same. For example, a most popular way is for these supplements to have caffeine in them, which is known to stimulate body temperature and thus metabolism. Again, it's not a true or false statement that's useful here. It's the degree to which these supplements help. As Richard discussed in the premise section earlier, the extra boost varies and is certainly not very large relative to, say, skipping one to two slices of pizza. This brings me to the next differentiation claim, which is that Medicor uses all natural ingredients, which implies that it's way more healthy than other supplements. Natural doesn't always mean safe or healthy. For example, there have been cases where people have taken too much turmeric, an ingredient in Medicor, and faced weird, undesirable symptoms. Similarly, chromium is naturally found in many foods, but the form of the mineral found in supplements has been questioned if it's actually safe to use. And this last one isn't a claim, but rather a weirdness of the Medicor reviews as I see uh, as of January 2021. I am seeing the same Medicor reviewer talking on two different channels about their personal experience, which is weird since if it's a personal experience, it would just be on their channel. Second, some of these channels only produce videos reviewing Medicor or a few other supplements. Or if you look at their video history, they are not about health and fitness at all. Lastly, there is an odd sort of consistency to nearly all of the reviews talking about the scam of knockoff Medicor supplements and to buy only from the official site. This sort of organized, consistent scam awareness seems very hard to achieve organically. The final question, should you use Medicor? I think you already know your answer if you have listened this far. The more important question is what is your goal with using Medicor or any weight loss supplement? If your plan is to take weight loss supplements forever, then really think through if that's a risk you're willing to take on an unregulated supplement. Or is it to get weight loss going and then you'll get off it part way? Or to lose weight on it entirely and then figure out how to maintain once you get to goal? In either case, you'll want to plan for two things. One, the leaner you become, the less effective Medicor will be as explained in the premise section earlier. So you may not get to goal entirely on Medicor. Which brings us to the second point. Maintenance or continued weight loss depends on your facing your existing habits and what's driving them. You'll need to tackle this sooner or later regardless. So I encourage you to write down what your non-supplement part of nutrition and exercise is. You are definitely going to need it sooner or later. If you don't know how to create an all natural lifestyle plan like this, then I urge you to check out our badass Body Boss program. The program is built for you if you, one, value learning in depth the science and psychology behind the entire process, two, believe that weight loss need not be so complicated, that each method out there works for someone at some stage, and that you just need a clear plan to finding your methods for your stage, and three, are excited by the idea of working in a collaborative fashion with us to build your customized, sustainable roadmap to lifelong success. If that's you, good news. A few spots have opened up for a free one-to-one -one consultation call with us. Note, this is not a coaching call and that booking a call does not guarantee you'll be admitted into our program. So if you're serious, click on the link in the description below to book a one-to-one -one consultation for our Badass Body Boss program. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, be sure to subscribe or follow us on Instagram, and share 
share this video with whoever else you feel will could use this information. And be sure to check out these two videos to learn more about how to lose fat and gain muscle like a body boss. You can do it.